top lawmakers say the state's Medicaid agency is still keeping them in the dark about planned cuts to a key Medicaid program. Now some of them are calling for an outside audit of that agency. News 8's government reporter Garrick Berquist lays out what lawmakers are trying to find out and what they're doing to address it. As a reminder, this is the program that pays parents who serve as full-time caregivers for their medically complex children. The Family and Social Services Administration has proposed switching to a daily stipend model, but parents say that won't nearly cover their expenses. Like any three-year-old, Rosie Kanzierski loves getting up high to look around. Rosie has Dravet syndrome. It's an extremely rare and severe form of epilepsy. Her mother, Melanie, quit her job to care for her full time. She gets paid for it through the attendant care program. The FSSA plans to end the program for families in July to fix a billion dollar funding shortage. Agency officials say their only real choices are to switch to the stipend model or end the program altogether. Telling us that a stipend should replace attendant care is simply not good enough. It is not equivalent and it, it would it's discriminatory against disabled people because they're removing the services that will allow my child to stay part of this community. Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch says she still has not been able to get any answers out of the FSSA. They won't even say how many people are affected or if the program was meant to be temporary. I sent a letter to Dr. Dan with a number of questions uh, last Friday, and have, or not last Monday, excuse me, and have not received a response. I know that Representative Clear several weeks ago sent questions and has not received a response. News 8 has asked those questions more than once as well. The FSSA hasn't given us a straight answer either. Democrats say the simplest solution is to cover the cost out of the state budget surplus. I think this is a critical issue. I'm extremely perplexed how the General Assembly is not acting on, the, on resolving the issue. Republicans call that idea fiscally irresponsible. Yeah, how long does that last if you're talking about $984 million? That's not the responsible way to do it. Crouch says she still wants the FSSA to pause any changes to the attendant care program. And she now wants independent audits to prevent any future spending problems. Kanzerski says there's a one in five chance Rosie will not live to see her 18th birthday. She says she's Rosie's best hope to stay alive because nobody better understands her needs. Medically complex parents are happy to do our jobs. We keep our noses down and we try to keep our kids alive. You pull the rug out from underneath us and we're not going to let that, we're not just going to let that go. The FSSA says families who already use the attendant care program will still be able to use it through the end of June. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.